Thanks for joining us again on Celebrating Act Two. As you can see, Art Kirsch and I are with Dr. Liz Lister. Good to see you again, Dr. Liz. Likewise, thank you so much. Hi, Dr. Liz. So I have a, a question for you uh, today. Um, we've done a, a series of uh, uh, videos on supplements and uh, I'm always wary when I hear about supplements. But when I was a kid growing up, and I'm sure a lot of people in our audience uh, are at least aware of it, I actually enjoyed something called V8, which was, uh, you know, it got a whole bunch. I was the not juice. a big fish. Yeah. I, yeah. I was, yeah. Yeah. Sure. I, I love the taste of it, actually. It's like a tomato juice with all sorts of other uh, veg vegetables in it. And um, uh, I always felt good. Maybe it was a placebo effect uh, after I had that, that because I didn't eat a whole lot of vegetables. Uh, and normally that that just made me feel very well balanced in my my eating habits and it, whether it's true or not is not that important but i noticed uh again uh, uh like i've seen for a lot of ads about supplements uh, uh uh veggie and fruit concentrates and pills uh they seem to cost a lot of money and i eat a lot of fruits and vegetables now and i just wonder for the average human being or for any human being are these things really are they new are they are they worth taking a look at? Well, actually, I'd like, would like to take a look at it and get your opinion on these supplements that concentrate fruits and vegetables and pills. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, as you said, they've been around a while. I don't know when the first ones were invented, but I've been aware of these products for at least 20 years. So that means it was 10, 20 minimum years before that, uh, that they've been around. The idea, as you said, is the fruits and veggies and berries are, those are fruits, dried into, freeze dried, and then put in capsules. So the question is, can you get the benefits of the fruits and vegetables by taking the capsules? Right. That's the question. Right. Uh, we don't have the, we have some partial answers to that question. Uh, we don't have the final real answer that answers that specific question. What we do know, for example, uh, I looked at one of the products that I'm familiar with and I looked at the data. There are th That particular company has been around a long time and they have lots of studies, lots and lots and lots and lots of studies looking at the absorption, looking at the immune function, looking at the other benefits that they assert, right? So they do have a lot of data. They do have data showing, for example, that when you take the capsules, you end up with the blood levels of the antioxidants that you would end up from eating fruits and vegetables. So that's good. That's a partial answer. Okay. Uh, it also, there's recent studies, one recent study from 2021, that's really recent, that looked at the impact of the people taking the capsules of the fruits and vegetables, the impact on the gut microbiome, and they found an improvement the way they measured it. They found improvement in the people taking the fruits and veggie capsules versus people taking placebos. Okay. And then another equally recent study done in Europe was looking at cognitive function. And they did, it was a placebo controlled study. And the people who took the fruit veggie capsules did better on cognitive tests. Now, this suggests that they are getting the benefits of the ingredients of the fruits and vegetables. So that's some of the good information that we have. What we also know, and we've talked about it before, I think many times, is that there are additional benefits to actually eating fruits and vegetables. Right. You get the fiber, you get the pacing of the sugar release into the body, course the capsules avoid the sugar completely that idea of the capsules is that you're only getting the vitamins and the polyphenols and the antioxidants from the fruits and vegetables 
without any of the sugar. Hmm. Okay. So, so uh, uh, yeah. um, if, because I guess uh, I looked up uh, one or two of them and it looks like they're, uh, uh, they're, they're pictures where you buy this stuff for about $30 a month. Uh, yeah. Which, more. which if you're marketing, you could say, so for under a dollar a day, Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I'm almost getting the sense that it, it's probably not going to harm you, but if you're eating a good right. fruit and vegetable mix to begin with, you're probably not going to get much benefit out of it. If you want to take them, okay, but are you really getting uh, any benefit if you already have a good mix of fruits and vegetables? That's, I guess, the real question. Yes, that is the difficult question to answer. One of the ways that they market, and I got marketed to this way when my kids were little, is it's difficult to get the kids to eat 13 servings of fruits and vegetables every day, mm -hmm. if not impossible. And so, and they, this particular company also made these as gummies, mm -hmm. which taste quite nice. Yeah. Okay. And I don't think they were terribly sugary. I think they were fruit flavored. They were kind of like, not as gummies of all types of things. But this company, I think, was kind of early on in the gummy game. And uh, my kids certainly were happy to take these gummies. Did it help them? Did it do the same as if I had sat them down and made them eat that many fruits and vegetables? We just won't know the answer to that question. We just don't know. I am happy to report that now that they've gotten older, they are more willing to eat fruits and veggies. So that's good. <laughs> but there was a time where it was really tough. And I chose to give them these gummies for, for a period of time. And it was pricey. It was pricey. That was not easy at the time to do that. However, I felt persuaded at the time uh, that I was benefiting them by uh -huh. giving them this form of the fruits and veggies. So, yeah. so the, you had a great placebo effect for yourself because your kids were taking them and you felt better that you were doing something about it. You know, placebo effect to me implies a benefit that we can demonstrate. So I would just call it that I felt that I was doing a good decision at that time. What does that mean? Does that mean the marketing was successful and worked on me? I would say yes. Yeah. I would, I would definitely say yes. I mean, I did look at data at that time. However, that's just not, it's hard to do. We've talked about this many times when we talk about supplements, that right. kind of data, it, it, the, the particular company has quite a bit of data as compared to most vitamin companies. That's something that people need to really be careful of when they're choosing supplements is that a lot of times uh, company A will do a lot of studies and have a really high quality product and company B will have not a high quality product, but they will claim the same results right. as what company A got with their product. And that's yeah. not necessarily the case either. So it, it's really, really a challenge, you know, cognition. We, that's really important to us, keeping our brains sharp as we get older and, and the results are very conflicting with that does it help but as i always say eventually we'll have a gene genetic testing to help guide this yeah i'll be able to tell if you or you have a specific gene mutation that taking a particular supplement is going to be beneficial to you we will have that data eventually but we do not have it right now you know dr liz i uh i, I you know that i love supplements and my attitude is the opposite of Art's. Art is very skeptical. He sees yeah. an ad and he could read all that, all those studies. And his answer is, yeah, but I could get the same thing by eating all my fruits and vegetables. And I, I don't need this crap. My attitude is, yeah, but you don't eat all those fruits and vegetables. And I don't eat all those veg fruits and vegetables. Right. And the FDA says it can't kill you. They don't say it's necessarily going to work, but it can't kill you. And right. what's what's the harm of adding a little bit more fruits and vegetables? Because I know I don't eat right. So my attitude yeah. is I lean toward supplements if I think there's something that I 
need to supplement. And yeah. art shies away from them on general principle. Mm -hmm. Yes. And we've talked in the past about the 90 plus study. The 90 plus study, people can go and look that up. Wonderful study done by UC Irvine, where they followed people in Laguna Woods, formerly mm -hmm. known as Leisure World. Yeah. And they had thousands and thousands of participants that they studied in their 60s. And then they went back 30 years later and studied, they did the same testing on everybody that was still around who they had studied in their 60s. And they did not find a significant correlation who lived into their 90s, who took vitamins and who didn't was not a significant, statistically significant factor. Right. Right. There were other very interesting ones. However, as I keep saying, I still think that when we have the comprehensive genetic testing, we're going to be able to tell. I think that if none of them had taken any of those vitamins, that there would have been another group of people who did who would not then have made it mm. into their 90s, sure. who were studied originally in their 60s. But we don't know which ones they were. Because we don't have those test methods yet, but they're coming. They are coming. Well, good. So we, we I think uh, we've established once again, more facts for people to have uh, as they're deciding uh, in this particular case uh, to spend third, maybe yeah. I think it's an average of $30 a month, uh, $360 a year. At least. I would say okay. it's more. Yeah, Usually but I'm saying a, a minimum and, and that's per person. So if you're say, giving it to your whole family, mm -hmm. right. so it adds so, up. So it probably won't do you any harm, uh, but whether or not, uh, if you're having a fairly well-balanced diet, it does you any good. And if you, especially if you're taking a multivitamin pill as well, uh, it may or may not be a supplement that, you know, if it's a, if you begin to think about how much it's costing you, uh, as opposed to uh, its a, a value, real or imagined, uh, it probably won't do you any harm. And it may or may not do you any good. Uh, but um, until you have studies and tests that can actually measure this on a broad basis, we won't know. So it won't, probably won't do you harm, uh, but make up your own mind. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.